Hey friends, welcome back to the channel. I'm Savannah and it is the third episode of my Refresh and Restore series. In today's episode, I will be walking you through how I hand wash my wool and cashmere sweaters. the decision to fix or repair an item that's broken in my home versus ordering something brand new to replace it reminds me a lot of deciding to cook dinner in versus ordering takeout. A home cooked meal is typically nourishing, made with love, the process is rewarding versus takeout. It's more expensive, it's kind of thoughtless. Yeah, we all do it, but we typically are ordering takeout when we don't have a lot of time and it is nice as an option, but if we order takeout every single night, you just feel kind Kind of icky and i know there are times in our life i've gone through this stage many times where it feels like all i can do is take out so when it comes to caring for your clothes you are just gonna take those to the dry cleaner or buy something brand new because there's a wedding this weekend that dress or that suit has pit stains or a spill from the last event and now it's game time and you need something to wear when I do take the time to slow down and care for the things that are broken and damaged in my home, it is absolutely so rewarding. I wasn't always this way. I used to have a ton of guilt around not being able to take care of my things. My clothes were in piles and I really loved my clothes and I wanted to take care of them. I felt like it wasn't inherently part of my personality, but as I've come to learn, it actually wasn't me that's the problem. It's just the fact that I had way too much stuff. With a significantly smaller wardrobe, I have have a lot more time and capacity to manage the things in it. I love them and I know them and I wear them and therefore I care about them more and I take the time to care for them when they need a little extra TLC from me. So that's what we'll be doing today is giving some TLC to some of my favorite sweaters. I have a small pile in front of me here. I have two cashmere sweaters and three wool blend sweaters. For my cashmere sweaters, I actually have two of the same sweater. I ended up wearing this sweater so frequently that I bought it in a second color and I bought both of these secondhand on Poshmark. I mentioned this before, but it's just the best resource for buying duplicates if you want to get a deal, which I am always trying to get a deal. I never pay full retail. I can promise you that. I wore each of these maybe 20 times. That sounds like a lot of times, but it feels like that's around the right number. And they're just stretched out. They're not super dirty. I mean, there's a little bit of baby spit up on all of my sweaters, but that's okay. We're gonna wash it out. Let me show you my wool sweaters. My next three sweaters are all a wool blend. They are not 100% wool, which is great because wool is pretty temperamental to wash. They all have about 20 to 40% wool in them, so I do want to be careful so that they don't shrink. You can see they are all shades of white or cream. A fluffy white turtleneck is kind of my go-to classic look. I wear turtlenecks all year long. I think they look really cute in summer too with shorts. I mean, 4th of July in a white turtleneck with jean shorts, come on. None of them are particularly stained or dirty. Mostly they're just stretched out and then a bit dirty around the cuffs from Daily life, you know how it be. Now that I've introduced you to my sweaters, let's get washing. Step one, measure. Before I get to washing, my first step is to measure the sweaters. I am taking two measurements here, the first being from the shoulder to the hem, and the second being from the shoulder to the end of the sleeve. These measurements will come in handy later. When I am done washing the sweaters and they are still damp, I can mold them back to their original size just in case they got stretched out or lopsided during the washing process. Step two, sink setup. After getting all of my measurements down, it's time to prepare my washing station. I fill my sink, bucket, bowl, whatever I have with lukewarm water and add a little bit of soap. I know there are quite a few special soaps available for cashmere and for wool, but for me, my generic fragrance-free washing detergent does the job. Whenever possible, I like to keep my projects simple, which means sticking to the tools and materials I have available at my home. 
If I went to the store to buy every specialty item required for a project, I would never get anything done. Step three, submerge and soak. Next, I submerge my knits into the soapy water. I've grouped my sweaters by color to wash to make the process go a little faster since I am washing the whole fleet. And let them soak for 15 to 20 minutes. Set a timer, paint your toenails, make a margarita, whatever strikes your fancy. Step four, massage. Once the 15 to 20 minute soak is up, it's time to massage the sweaters, oh so gently, kneading and pressing them. Don't be too rough or the fibers could melt together and your sweater could end up looking kind of funky. Step five, rinse and repeat. Now it's time to rinse. Remove the knits from the soapy water, press and squeeze them to remove the extra water, now fill the sink with the same temperature of lukewarm water. If you change up the temperature, it could shock the fibers and cause shrinkage. Not to scare you or anything, but it is a thing. This may take a few rounds of rinsing depending on how dirty or soapy your situation is. Once the water runs clean, remove the sweaters. Keep them contained in a ball-like shape while you squeeze and press them. It's super heavy, so all hands on deck. And if you let a sleeve loose, it could stretch out. <laughs> Squeeze out as much water as you can muster and then head over to your towel. Oh yeah, you're gonna need a towel ready. Step six, towel burrito. In this step, we'll be removing excess water before the knits air dry. Lay your sweater flat on the towel, roll it up, Squeeze it. Now unroll it. Voila, we're ready to air dry. Step seven, shape up. After burritoing the rest of my sweaters, it's time to lay them flat to air dry. You'll need a towel, your measuring tape, and your measurements from before. You'll want to lay each sweater flat on the towel and measure them one by one, stretching and smushing them as needed to fit the original measurements. Or maybe you want your sleeves to be longer. Now's your chance. Now we'll leave the sweaters to air dry. Once your sweater is mostly dry, feel free to hang it up to speed up the drying process. Step eight, try on. 24 hours later or so, they're dry. Time for the very last step to try them on and give them their shape. Thanks for tagging along as I walked you through my sweater washing process. I hope you found some calmness and peace as I scrubbed those sweaters. Perhaps you're inspired to wash some of your own. I have a few more videos coming up for my refresh and restore series, and I will also be starting a brand new series called Wardrobe Wake Up, so please stay tuned for that. If you like this video, please give it a big thumbs up. 
And if you'd like to be in the know for all of my upcoming videos, subscribe, join the family. See you next time and have a fun day.